Alright folks, Heather and I are working on our gingerbread trim today. So instead of wood, we decided to go steel and I'll show you, well, you'll understand because wood could cup and warp and steel won't. So we got a piece of uh, 1 8 inch steel, maybe a little thicker than 1 inch, I didn't really measure it. So we ended up cutting this pattern here. Uh, we So what we did is we taped a bunch of paper, we cut it 6 inches. I cut that steel this morning with a plasma cutter. I got another one, by the way. I traded a snowmobile for a plasma cutter. So I ended up cutting this into a piece of paper. We First, we taped the whole bunch of pieces of paper together, and then we stacked them up, cut them six inches, spread them out, taped them. So now we're going to lay this down, and we're going to mark this pattern out. But first of all, what I gotta do now is I gotta pull this down here because I know so I think it's gonna go somewhere about there to start. This way I can continue my pattern down there. Now I'm going to measure from here, from here to here. So we have 26 inches left. So from here, uh, from here to here, 26 inches, it's gonna go about here. So that's pretty good, I, I'm liking that. Okay, so now, because we gotta repeat this pattern here. Now that's gonna get put like that. I have to put this here. So what I'm doing is getting this set up, folks, so I can paint the pattern in here because I have no real way of tracing this design. So what I'm going to do it's like I did when I, we built that pig roaster, is I will paint the pattern on here. Now the pattern is not going to be exact, but I want it pretty darn close. So it will be somewhat repeated. What I don't like about this is that's sitting up there a bit, but I can just push that down with my hand. Put this pencil here. Looking good. I'm just gonna use this paint. It doesn't have to be like yeah. It just has to be a representation of that. Without getting it wrong. Floor. If I can go straight down, it'll be even better. Well, I'll know my battery ever goes missing, I'll know who owns it. Anything silver gets removed when we go to cut it out. Now, if I'm correct, this has to get flipped backwards now. If I'm correct. Yes, just like so. That gets flipped backwards now. Then what I need is my, can you pass me that stuff again, baby, headset on here? The, the measuring tape. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And then that, uh,
remaining silver gets removed. So it's up here. That should have repeated the pattern. Look at that. That look okay to you, Heather? It looks beautiful. I love it. I'm glad. That's all that counts, as long as you like it. Well, now, it counts if you like it. <laughs> see? I have no problem doing my nails. Do I? No, you don't. Let's go start cutting that. Okay, sounds good. Wow. So far, hey? I we'll love clean it. that up a little bit. Well, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Like it. Here, and I'll start here again. Move this over. That, as you know, will get all cleaned up with my grinder with a nice smooth sanding disc on there. That'll get all cleaned up. We'll weld a little flat bar on the back here to attach it up under the roof. So there'll be a flat bar here, we'll attach it under the roof. And then, uh, um, then we'll paint it white, sand it, paint it white. So, very nice. Thank you. Now on with this one. On with the show. I gotta keep an eye on this thing here and make sure that's not getting too hot, but it's staying pretty good. Love that right now, man. That is nice. You know what? I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's worse. This thing here keeps moving on me, but in any little shaky move, you see it in that. I'm not gonna worry. I can clean that up the grinder if it doesn't look right there.
and stops. A little too windy there. Your squirrel friends are the plates. Is there any gang wars or anything? Turf wars? Well, one's chirping, so. start to, to cut there, the wind will blow me around, move my hand, and it'll move this around. So it's hard to make a, a good cut. You've done a really amazing job. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Oh, this, has to be cut, this has to be cut on an angle to fit down. And like I say, we weld a piece of flat bar on the back about so long, about an inch maybe, inch and a half, and then it gets screwed up onto the bottom of the uh, Gable ends once it's all cleaned up, painted white, and, and and so I will join another one on the end, on this end. Another one I'll get joined on this end to run up to the peak, but it's only going. It's going to be down from the peak probably uh, almost two feet because there's, there's going to be a center piece with a bunch of stuff cut into it. some nice, nice pattern cut into it. So maybe we're going a little overboard, but you know what? We're only going to do this once, probably, so I don't mind that. It looks really nice. Thank you. I'd like to get it all cut tonight, get it cleaned up the best I can on the outside, at least with the, the grinder, and then we'll work on the inside with a, with a die grinder and a little, you know, like the little Dremel and stuff.
there. That's the angle I need to cut it at. Let's go. a little bit from cutting. I know it's going to have to be straightened up a little bit. But that's okay, that can get straightened up, but I'll show you where this is going to go. Come on over here, folks. Try not to bend it. This will be painted white. It's got a little more cleaning to do, and I have to weld some flat bar on the back to install it. But it will sit like this. But like I say, it's warped a bit though, because of the heat. So I will straighten that out. But anyways, it's gonna sit like this here. Boom, and then it'll come up here. Can you see that okay, babe? Yeah. Like this here? Yep. But this here really has to be. Yeah, it's warped. I'll have to straighten that out. But anyways, yeah. So it'll go. It's gonna go underneath here like this. It'll get attached under here. But that's kind of how it's gonna look. I don't know if you can see if I get out of the way better. I'll just set it on top here for now. You'll be able to see. Picture that white though. Yeah. What do you it looks really it? nice. It'll look beautiful when it's white. It looks nice now. Thank you. But it's going to get mounted under here though. Yeah. It'll get mounted right here when it's painted white. Boom. Good enough? Yep. But we have to straighten that out though, which is pretty easy. So it goes like this. So I just, from the heat, from me cutting on this side, it warped. But I'll, I'll straighten her back out and it'll be good. You'll see. So I make this part and then I'll make another part goes on the end that runs up just to this side of that door and then there's going to be a piece like this like this with a whole bunch of scroll work in the center 
And that is going to be our gingerbread trim. I was gonna do it out of wood, but I was worried about wood warping. So I will just end up screwing it up under here and in here. And then on the end, I'll weld a flat bar on the two joining pieces so I can bolt it as it gets run up there. So now we have to clean this a little more. We have to clean up the insides a little bit because I imagine it looks fairly rough, but we'll do that. But we're gonna finish making the other piece that runs up there. We'll make that tomorrow and you'll see how that's gonna look. Anyways, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up for us, please. And follow along with our little project here. Um, and you'll see how this progresses. You take care, all. Bye-bye, all. Bye.